Yes. Let's summarize the problem. So I will tell what are the important points to be remembered and how the marks is distributed in evaluation. So first is read the problem correctly and determine what to be found out. So here he has asked to find SFD, BMD and point of contraflexure and maximum bending moment. So four parts are to be found out. So given problem is in beam. So you need to find first is how many support reactions are there. So there is one fixed support, another is roller support. You have three points loads. So only point load is given. So your first step is to use your static equilibrium condition. Use sigma fx is equal to zero and sigma fy is equal to zero and sigma ma is equal to zero. So find sigma fx is equal to zero. So your ha is equal to zero and ra plus rd is equal to 45 from sigma fy is equal to zero and bending moment at A, I am taking bending moment at A. So bending moment at A is equal to zero. My sign convention is clockwise positive, anti-clockwise negative. So my dear students, this sign convention is also important. If you show this sign convention, it is very useful for the evaluator that you have taken the right sign convention. So if you simplify clockwise positive, clockwise positive, anti-clockwise negative and clockwise positive. Simplify and you will get one reaction support RD is equal to 34. Next, substitute that in equation number 1. You will get RA is equal to 11 kilonewton. Next cross verification by yourself is 10, 11 plus 34 is equal to 45. Yes, 45 comes into picture. Your reaction supports are correct. Write free body diagram in b below the given problem use entire sheet like this so that it will be very useful for you for any calculation defect or anything so if fbd is ha is 11 so you need to show distances 2.5 1.5 1.1 reactions are 34 and 11 and load next comes into picture is shear force for writing shear force diagram right shear force diagram shear force my sign convention is left uh, left upward positive I call it as LUP from next problem onwards. So shear force at A. So only one reaction load is there. That is 11 acting upward. So 11. Shear force just left to B is anywhere here in between the B is 11. Shear force at B is shear force at A minus 20. So 11 minus 20 minus 9. You can cross verify here only. Then shear force just left to C is 9. Shear force at C is 9 minus 15. So minus 9 minus 15 is minus 24. So shear force just left to E is minus 24. Next shear force at D is minus 24 plus 34 is 10. So shear force at just left to E is 10. Shear force at E is 10 minus 10 is 0. So your cross verification says that if all values are correct, you need to get shear force at is 0. So your initial shear force is 0. Your final shear force is 0. If you go wrong by any chance anywhere, you need to re-verification your shear force calculation. So next comes into picture is bending moment, last point. And you need to write shear force diagram. So hatchet point, so positive shear force, negative shear force. So last part is bending moment. So bending moment, my sign convention is important, clockwise positive, anti-clockwise negative. So bending moment at extreme ends are zero. So bending moment at A is zero, bending moment at E is zero. So next bending moment at B is, so keep a hand at B. So 11 into 2.5 acting clockwise, it is 27.5. Please write units, which is very important. So kilonewton meter. Next bending moment at C, please keep your finger at point C. So how many loads? 11 into 2.5 plus 1.5. So next minus, 20 into 1.5 because it is acting anti-clockwise. It is acting anti-clockwise. It is acting anti-clockwise. So it is 11 into 4 minus 20 into 1.5, you will get 14. So mark 14. Next, bending moment at D is equal to 11, 11 into 2.5 plus 1.5 plus 1 acting clockwise. Next, 20 into 1.5 plus 1 acting anti-clockwise. Next 15 into 1 acting anti-clockwise. You annotate and you get the answer minus 10 kilonewton meter. So bending moment at D is minus 10 kilonewton meter. Next bending moment at E is 0. So if you plot a bending moment diagram, so here maximum bending moment is 27.5. 
So 27.5 is your maximum bending moment diagram. You can represent here also by chance if you miss your by writing maximum bending moment diagram if you circle and show it in the bending moment diagram it is correct. Next you need to find point of contraflexure. Point of contraflexure says that there is a sign change in positive to negative in bending moment diagram. So this is positive, this is negative. So point of contraflexure is here. So you annotate and you write an arrow mark unless and until it touches the beam and annotate this as F and write X from D. So use similar triangle which is very easy method to solve the point of contraflexure. So use similar triangle method. So 14 is my first load in bending moment diagram. 10 is my next load at D. So 14 divided by 1 minus X is equal to 10 divided by X. If you simplify, you will get point of contraflexure is 0.416 meters. Please write in sentence point of contraflexure is 0.416 from point D. This ends the cross verification and summary of the problem. Thank you.